Good job, buddy. Good job. Frankie, Frankie boy, Frankie boy, why are you fucking fighting up on the hill, bro? Come on, get inside. Get your ass inside. So I'm starting to get that um, that Kurt Russell hairstyle uh, that he had in the in the movie The Thing. Remember, guys, McReady. Kurt Russell's the character was McReady. He had the fucking the the beard and he had the long hair. He had those like sick ass um, glasses for the snow. So yeah, my uh, my fucking hair is starting to my hair is starting to grow back in. It's almost a year since I uh, last cut it. It's gonna be a year in uh, April, so um, I'm I'm almost hitting that that mark, that year mark. But yeah, uh, since since April, since I cut my hair completely off, this is this is how much it's gr been growing. So I still have a while to go before I uh, before I can do my uh, my man buns again. But um, yeah, I'm fucking happy because I got my uh, Kurt Russell Mac ready hair hairstyle going on right now fucking loving it bro fucking love Kurt Russell Hello. Hi. The Chronicles of Riddick. So it says, says right here, buy four books, get the fifth for free. Oh, look at the girl with the dragon tattoo. Um, Are these good? I've never read. <laughs> Bruh, they have the Blu-ray season of, oh, season one through five of Friends. But this, this thing is, Oh no, it's in there. Wait, what? Bruh. Check this shit. <laughs> it's friends. Okay. One through five. <laughs> bro, Minions, Sonic. That's it, bro. Grey's Anatomy. Bro, somebody stole the freaking friends disc and they replaced them. That's crazy. Bruh. No. Mom would this up. And meet the gates. It's a good. It's a good movie. They have a lot of good movies. Holy fuck! Yeah, they do. Huh? Grease too. This movie sucked. Oh, yeah. That was so terrible, man. Don't even, don't don't even don't waste your time, bro. Nothing compared to to the John Travolta one. I said, yeah, damn, they got a bunch of DVDs and Blu-rays. Blu-rays. What's this? Meerkat Manor.
So we're currently here, oh, excuse me. We're currently here at uh, Sabres in Riverside. Uh, my mom wanted to come look for some, uh, some uh, plates and cups or something. I don't know, some, I don't know. But yeah, we're here with my mom and then uh, Nana's right there. And we're just kind of walking around looking at the, all the books and all the movies. I am always looking for something, cups and plates or something. So she's over there somewhere. Okay. We just found the VHS movies. Slickers. City Slickers. Oh, this movie's so good. City Slickers. Oh, that's a good movie. I saw it the other day. Ooh, Nicolas Cage. Snake eyes, bro, and it's still. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No chingas, bro. Oh yeah. Pride and Prejudice. I'm about to get this one. And zombies. <laughs> no. <laughs> no zombies. <laughs> bro, I just found this cage, this Nicholas Cage uh, Snake Eyes VHS, and it still has the plastic on it. You buying it? How much is it? Two bucks. I might get it. But let me make sure it's, it's in there. Last time I bought a movie, it was like, yeah, it's in there. Last time I bought a Jurassic Park movie, it was um like a Barney movie in there. Yeah, you didn't like, check it? I didn't check it. When I got home, it was like Barney Adventure. Oh yeah. Ooh, the Green Mile. Damn, that's sick. How much is this? Two dollars. It's like two two VHS in there. They got Jumanji, Twins, bruh. Twins. What else do we got? Discover Russia. Russia. Ooh, check that out, Russia. Russia. Funny Lady, Gettysburg, Dance with Wolves. Michael, it's a good movie. John Travolta, he's an angel. Oh, this is one of the best war movies about World War II. The Longest Day with uh, with John Wayne. Oh, this movie's so good. Bruh, this is a really good movie. I actually might get this. I think about it. So, can someone explain to me how exactly Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, Danny DeVito are twins? Arnold's like fucking, what, 6'5? And Danny DeVito's, what, like 4 feet? Arnold's fucking buff, and then Danny DeVito's pudgy. How the fuck are they twins? Doesn't make sense. Good movie, though, but doesn't make sense to me. Casablanca, bro. That's cool. Have you seen it? Um, I saw a little bit. Oh, there's a news. There's a newspaper in here. Oh. There's a there's like an article in here or something. What the hell? What's this? Bro, it's a. I don't know what it is. It says Free Movie 3, The Rescue, Prom Night, Absolute Power, Bean, Bean Exena, Warrior Princess, The Waltons. What the hell is this? How old is this thing? It doesn't say how old it is. Bruh. That's crazy. So whoever owned this uh, VHS copy of Casablanca, they put in an old article about the movie in, in, the, in the case. Huh. 
I bet I, I bet you it's really really old too. This article. Bro, I just found a VHS copy of Money Train. Fuck, this movie is so fucking awesome. I fucking love this movie, dude. Let me make sure. Yep. Woody Harrelson and uh, Wesley Snipes. Nice. David gets in trouble. <laughs> a book about me. Always gaining, getting into trouble. Bro, check this shit out. Batman, Mask of the Phantasm. Whoa. What's in here? It's like a comic book about the movie. Gloop. Hmm. You rock me all night long. Yeah, you. So I'm assuming this has to be a popcorn bucket from Star Wars, from Galaxy's Edge. Star Wars. There's even a TIE Fighter right here, but it's, I think they're, they're popcorn buckets. But I think it's missing something though. It's not complete. Every time I come to Savers, I always find uh, a fucking bed spread that I end up buying. Mm -hmm. Like, I always find like a Batman one, Star Wars, Disney. Like, I found like a Toy Story one. I found like a bunch of uh, um, Star Wars bed spreads. And, uh... I end up fucking buying them and then I wash them and I just kind of put them in my room for storage and uh, yeah, I kind of collect them. So what the fuck is this? This is another one right here. Jurassic World. Check, check that out, bro. It's a Jurassic World bed spread. They always have something good here. Jurassic World. Let's see. And right here they have a Chippy Beauty, right? Oh, that's Cinderella. Cinderella. Right? But they're fucking expensive though. That's the thing though. Like they're used and... Check it out. They're used. But this, this fucking bedspread's 20 fucking dollars. That's the problem, bro. They're good bedspreads. But they're fucking expensive. Vilma, Funkos, I'm not sure who that is. So you have to look through the through the bags to see if there's any good toys in there. They always, uh, sometimes they have good stuff, sometimes they have junk. Like one time I came and I found the, uh, a Quasimodo I was so fucking excited, bro. Like he was like, he was a like like a like a pretty good. He's probably like the size of this Barbie, like I don't know, like ten inches or eleven inches. But you just gotta look through the bag. Hope you hopefully you find something good. I 
it's a uh, WWE ambulance. <laughs> It's all fucking destroyed though. Bruh, it's a Chinook. Target now. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're at Target, and uh, I'm looking for uh, shampoo and uh, some deodorant for me. And my mom's uh, somewhere over there looking for something else. Let me see if I can find my shampoo. So the shampoo that I always use is Suave, but. They don't have the one, the one smell that I that I love. This is rosemary and mint. I've tried this one before, but I don't really like it. And I can't find the avocado one that I love. What is it? Hmm. Let me see if I can find it. I might have to get a different shampoo this time because I don't see it. I found this though. Recently um, on TikTok, I've been seeing that they've been uh, advertising this brand like crazy, bruh. Like over and over, I've seen videos of the native um, brand for like shampoo. And uh, they swear it's like the best shampoo out there there is right now. What is this? Native shampoo almond and shea, shea, shea butter. $10 a bottle. So they got almond and shea butter, or they got... Ooh, this looks good. Coconut and vanilla. Shampoo. That looks pretty bomb. What else do they have? What else? Shampoo. Is this the same brand? No, it's a different brand, Monday. But here's the native one. So they got coconut. Almond and shea butter, ocean. This, this looks pretty good. Ocean and timber. Oh shit. I love all those ocean ocean smells. What else do they have? Let me see. They have warm cider and cinnamon, coconut milk, cashmere and rain. Oh, that actually sounds pretty good. Rain. Else. Cucumber and mint, berries and vanilla. Oh shit. Cucumber and mint. That sounds pretty good. I might actually just get two this time just to try them out. So I'm gonna probably go with coconut. Coconut and ocean and timber. Bruh, someone shoved their cheese right next to the Q-tips. Cheese sticks. Bruh, and nuts. Bruh. Bruh, the rock, I swear. This dude is everywhere. Fucking rock, bruh. I found all the deodorants. Let me see if they have my favorite smell. So I only wear Old Spice. 
I've tried wearing like different brands of deodorant and uh, my body does not react well to them. So the only one I can wear comfortable is uh, Old Spice. So, oh, they have swagger, bro. Swagger. So I, I only wear swagger and let me see if they have the other one that I love. Aqua Reef. Bro, these are two of the best fucking smells ever. Those are those are the only ones that I that I love to wear. And they fucking smell good for a long for a long while. This one's pretty good too though. The bear glove. I like that one. But, but I mean if, if I have to really really choose, swagger and aqua reef for the best fucking smells from uh, old spice. Diego section. This reminds me of uh, Eleven from uh, Stranger Things, bro. Damn, there's a lot of Egos. So many different flavors. You got pancakes, blueberry, pancakes, winterberry, chocolate chip. You got the uh, bleach style maple flavor. Vanilla beans, cinnamon brown sugar, original. Bruh. Why is there so many different flavored Egos? Bruh. 11. Would love it right here. I'm gonna check the price. Oh shit. I'm gonna check the price on this deodorant. Item not found, what the fuck? The fuck? What do you mean it's not found? Are you serious, bro? Let me try the other one. What the fuck? Touch this scan. Hold on. What do you mean you can't find it? What the fuck? That's weird. So it looks like this is all they have left for Blu-rays and DVDs. This is like the only section where they have it. So there's a few DVDs and a few Blu-rays left. Bro, this movie fucked me up. I cried so hard in the Iron Claw. It's a great, great movie. But yeah, this is all they have left for Blu-rays and DVDs. This is like the only section that they have left. Everything else is like books and pretty much books over here. I can't come to Target and not check out the toys. There's not that many. There's not that much of a great toy selection. I'll show you guys what they have. Mario, you got Bowser. This is kind of actually kind of fucking cool, bro. It's a big figure. You got some more Mario's up there. Sonic's Mario. They still have those big Mario figures. I think there's a Luigi too in the back. With the big figures, and they're still thirty bucks. Okay. Aquaman. Who's this? Duke Thomas. Okay. Aquaman. It's the same one. Different. Different. Aquaman. Again, we got freaking Black Adam. Another Aquaman. Another Aquaman. Who's this? Animal. Animal Man? Is that, what is that, like a wolverine? What is that, like a badger? I don't know what type of animal that is. What the fuck is this, Necron? I've never heard of Necron before. Necron, but he's got that um, 
thing that the Grim Reaper carries when he takes people. I'm not sure what that shit's called. We got King Shark down here. 15 bucks. King Shark. Okay. We got a uh, Proton Blaster for the new Ghostbusters. Bitch, stay there. A Proton Blaster. That's kind of cool. Ooh, bro, it's an Ecto-1. Wow. There's an Ecto-1 and there's like a, a Ghost Catcher and a drone. Like a drone. And we got Slimer right here. Let me see what's on the back. Oh, shit, it's kind of cool. Oh, shit. That is pretty fucking rad. How much is this? 30 bucks. Shit. I wish I had 30 bucks right now. I'd fucking take this with me, but I don't have $30. So, fuck. We got some Ghostbusters action figures right here. We got Trevor up there. Let's see if I can grab him. <sighs> Trevor with uh, Slimer. Hulk hands. Yeah, the toy selection kind of sucks today. Or this time. There's Luigi. Luigi. Not gonna lie, this figure is kind of cool. But for 30 bucks, nah. It's too much. Bruh, they have the 1989 Lego Batmobile. Oh my god, bruh. Fuck, I want this. That is so fucking sick. They even have the 1989 Batwing right here. So fucking sick. Oh, it's so fucking sick. And they have, like a, I'm not sure what this is, Lego? Like a Lego of um, Michael Keaton Batman right here. Dude, imagine buying all these. Imagine buying the Batmobile, the Batman, and the Batwing together, like in a like in a little package. It'd be so fucking rad. They have a Indoraptor. Dude, I want this so bad. I want this one, and then I really, really want the big Indoraptor. It's like huge, bro. Look how big this is. Look how big this is. I would fucking love to have this in my collection of toys. It's a big Indoraptor. Super colossal Indoraptor. How much is this? Seventy dollars for this Indoraptor, but it's worth it's worth it. Though look at fuck, that is so fucking rad. There you go. Sorry, buddy. Next time. And they have like a red T Rex right here. That's so fucking cool. The Indoraptor, such a badass raptor. Bruh, they got King, King Kong. Oh no. Bro, the new King Kong with the, with the new arm, the arm weapon that he has right here. I'm not sure what it's called in the movie, but it looks like, it looks almost like a, what's it called? The, fuck, I can't think of it right now. The Infinity Gauntlet, I was thinking. It looks almost like an Infinity Gauntlet, but it's not. That's so cool. Just 
I mean, I kind of want this. And it's the last, the last King Kong too. There's Godzilla, but I don't see, I don't see any other uh, King Kongs. Oh, I kind of want it. Oh, it's only ten bucks. I might take it. That is so fucking rad. Bruh, they have a shit ton of these uh, Indoraptors. Like a lot of them. Check that out. From there, from right there. Hold on. All the way down there, bro. $70 Indoraptors. Just sitting on the shelf, not being sold. Wonder why. It's almost dinner time. It's 7.18, so we're fucking hungry. So we're having dinner at the uh, Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Me, my mom, little Nana, and uh, little Martha. So we're waiting for her to arrive. But, uh... What are you gonna get, mom? I don't know, I'll make it this. A what? Oh no, yeah, I might get the salad like that. Skinny issues. Mmm, <laughs> 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 I'm done. Ms. Fred, you want to go hiking with us? I think so. I want to go skyline. Dinner with the family is done. All went well. Oh, I'm so fucking full, bro. Time to go home, relax, and watch a movie. Check out this book right here I just found right now. The Adventures of Indiana Jones. It's like a leather, leather hardcover book. There's his whip. There's his, uh, his hat. Yeah. And it has all three books. Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. And Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Check it out, that gold you know how much this book costs let's check the price forty dollars for this book forty dollars for this hardcover leather book Whoa. that's too expensive bro too damn expensive they even have like a like a Star Wars Boba Fett one right there that's fucking cool these are all like other books. You even have this Star Wars one. Let me see this one. It's sick. So on the front, it's Darth Vader. 
and on the back it's uh, R2-D2 and uh, C-3PO. So cool. How much is this one right here? 40 bucks right there. $40. All these books are like 40 Fuck. Bruh, I found it. I was looking for this. I can't believe I found it. Yes. It's the Ghostbusters Ultimate Visual History. Bro, I'm gonna buy this. I've been looking for this. It's only $20. Dude, it's so fucking cool. I'm gonna buy this today.